So, do you make any money? Are you profitable? <laughs> are we making any money or are we profitable? Uh, that's a huge question and I don't know if we're going to be able to get around to answering it all right here. Um, some of the statistics that we need to be aware of is that anybody in agriculture who files a IRS Schedule F, which is a tax return for farm businesses, out of, out of all of the people who file a Schedule F, 80% of those get the majority of their income from off the farm. So that means the biggest farmers in this country, 80% of all the farmers are getting the majority of their income off the farm. So we don't need to hold ourselves to a standard that's not attainable. Another thing that commonly happens, I work with a lot of different um, venture capital groups and lenders, and uh, somehow they have in their minds attached real estate investment and farming and they've attached them together the two are they're two separate things real estate investment is one separate uh, category on in and of itself farming is a different venture in and of itself you can be a farmer and not own a piece of land ever you can you can be living in inner city you know Hoboken New Jersey and all of a sudden decide to be a farmer, you can find land from somebody somewhere and rent it for a minimal amount of money and you start a farm business and your farm business can be profitable. Now will the revenues from your farm business pay for a real estate investment? Sometimes, depending on the circumstances, sometimes not. So probably the most significant thing to do is to decouple, in your mind anyways, decouple the farm enterprise from the real estate investment enterprise. Um, and that's what we've done here on New Forest Farm. Now, that said, the farm enterprise has been uh, profitable enough to pay for itself and reinvest in itself for the past 20 years. I think there's been a few years that it wasn't, um, and there were more often years when we were buying lots of tree material or buying lots of equipment, like you buy a brand new tractor and obviously it changes your taxes. You buy a brand new uh, wind turbine, it ch changes your taxes, that sort of thing. So there may have been a few years that it wasn't, but overall it has been, it's paid for itself. And because it's paying field rent, the farm enterprise rents from the real estate holding um, entity. So the real estate holding entity gets rents from uh, whoever's farming on it, and there's typically three to four different um, enterprises renting from the farm. There, last summer, for example, there was a sheep person, uh, two produce people, a chicken person, a cattle person, a pig person, um, and I'm the, the trees guy, the chestnuts, hazelnuts, and apple nuts guy. Apple nuts. <laughs> so we were all renting from the real estate uh, entity. So the farm enterprises, yeah, they're profitable. The real estate investment um, enterprise is also profitable, but it's profitable differently. Now let's think about, I'm going to invest in real estate. I'm going to buy a piece of degraded real estate and add value to that real estate to increase its asset value. So let's pretend I buy a Cracker Box condo in Florida that's got, you know, the paint's peeling off the walls, wallpaper, landscapes a mess, all that kind of stuff. I buy it for $100,000, I put $10,000 into it, I repaint everything, I plant new grass, get the irrigation system all working again, and I only put 10000 into it. Now, 100000 plus the 10000 I put into it, and I sell it for two hundred. I just made $80,000 on my real estate investment because I improved the asset value of that real estate. That's a sound investment that's profitable. So what we've got going here on this farm is that the farm enterprise is profitable simply because it's not trying to also carry the real estate investment. The real estate investment is a real estate investment and we're using farming as one way to cash flow the real estate investment. And that's a, that's a real critical distinction is to separate the functions in your ecosystem from one another. Because every different enterprise performs a different function. Each enterprise can be profitable in and of itself, but no one single enterprise can carry the whole thing.